players come and go. Blue bloods tire easy. You think you could go 15 rounds with Mohammed Shrek? He's an industrialist. Uh, he, among other things, has met, uh, Shrek's department store. Originally, the Max Shrek character, he is the golden boy son of the Cobblepots, and it turns out that he and Penguin are brothers, and there was that kind of dichotomy in the movie of, like, the, the saintly brother who runs the city and the ultimate black sheep who's thrown in the sewer and how they come up together. But the script and the movie is way too rich to begin with, and that was just another layer that we finally had to lose. When I suggested to Tim, I, I thought of Christopher Walken, and Tim, who loves ghouls and skeletons and odd things, said, oh, no, he said, he's, he's, I'm afraid of him. He scares me. And I said, but Tim, you're supposed to be afraid of Max Shrek. They made up a fictional character that's not in Batman's universe, and suddenly he becomes the most exciting character in the film. Well. Sorry, but that's what you get when you put Christopher Walken in a role. He says uh, there's no such thing as too much power. He says that's, that's what his life is about. Now, that's, uh, those are actually his lines. I think he means it. Bottom line, she tries to blackmail me. I'll drop her out a higher window. Meantime, I got better fish to fry. I think Max probably didn't have a lot of education and that he sort of made his own way, you know. What's the deal, Mr. Shrek? Is the Penguin a personal friend? Yes, he's a personal friend of this whole city, so have a heart. Give the Constitution a rest, OK? It's Christmas. I think that Max and the Penguin, for their own reasons, enjoy each other's company. Probably because when you're like that, there aren't that many people you can talk to. 